What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're going to continue with our, our World Junior theme this week and talk about our Team USA center as well as Florida Panther prospect and Minnesota Golden Gopher, Nick Bukestad. A um, little background on Bukestad. He's a big kid, uh, 6'5", 200 pounds, you know, typical you know, power forward, if you will. Um, having a great year this year for the Golden Gophers with uh, 27 points in 20 games. Uh, he, he's got to be considered a front runner for the Hobie Baker. He's that good. You know, he's really developing and was a solid player. Um, last year, played 20 points in 29 games. Has already surpassed that in uh, fewer games played, which is obviously excellent. I uh, played for Blaine High School in Minnesota. Had uh, 60 points in uh, 25 games his senior year. He was named Minnesota High School Hockey Player of the Year, Mr. Hockey, as it's called up there. And, um, you know, went right from Minnesota, from Blaine to the uh, University of Minnesota last year and played a pretty big role. And, uh, you know, was had played in the World Juniors last year at four points in six games. It was plus two. It's actually worth noting both his goals were uh, game winners. So that's pretty uh, pretty cool. Won the bronze medal, like I said, last year with the U.S. World Junior team. And, um, you know, he's just an all-around player. He can uh, kill penalties, great in front of the net. And, uh, you know, has high-end hockey sense. He's got a great shot, you know, that uh, you know, he can get on net regularly. And his hockey sense is, um, you know, very, very superior to someone at 19 years old usually don't see that but it's a sound two-way game as well which is something again you don't see every day um you know his, his four check is awesome which is what you expect i mean six five i mean you know you got to be able to get in there and mix it up and then once you win the possession of the puck protect the puck and uh, he does that very well like i said he's got to be considered the front runner of the hobie baker and uh you know just obviously as all you know is the highest bit of hockey and uh like i said you know he's got high expectations he went uh what was he the 19th pick in the draft last year to Florida, and uh, I think he could be taking a sail to South Beach as soon as next year. You know he's that good. He, uh, you know, he may need some AHL seasoning because when you're six five, you're so used to pushing guys around at the lower levels. So when you get up to play against men, it's uh, you know a whole new ball game. So you know, looking forward to see what he does not only at the World Juniors in the second half of the year, but uh, definitely uh, next year in in Miami or. Uh, their affiliates in San Antonio, so wherever he ends up next year, or maybe goes back to Minnesota, I don't see that happening, though. I think he's too good to continue to, uh, you know, toil away at the college level, and that he can, you know, definitely be an impact professional hockey player as soon as next year, and, um, you know, I think he's going to be Team USA's first line center, and definitely their most important forward um, going forward, because, like I said, you know, his sound two-way game and his offensive awareness mixed together at 6'5", um, off you a very, very intriguing mix, that will um, you know, keep the keep opposing defenses honest. You know, on the four check, uh, you'll get generate shots on net, cycle the puck, do all that, and uh, you know, really make the team a tough team to play against. And really help you out in the power play, especially in front of the net. Because when you're six five, the screen you can create on goalies is uh, second and none. So, you know, and he like I said, protects the puck real well. Um, watch him play a couple weeks ago from Minnesota. Had a great goal from in front, just you know, burying the rebound. That reach gives you. You know, so many more advantages to get the rebounds, to pounce on the loose pucks, and uh, you know that really makes all the difference. I really don't, I can't think of a player to compare him to. I guess maybe Joe Thornton a little bit because he's big and he can protect the puck. Um, you know, I don't know. You know, yeah, he's a player all his own, and I'm really intrigued to see what he does at the professional level. But uh, I definitely think uh, in Tampa this year at the Frozen Four, he'll be down there. Florida, we'll get to see him really. Uh, the state of Florida will. So, uh, look, I wish him nothing but the best, and hope he can uh, bring the team, bring Team USA the gold this year. So uh, that's it for the power play with CJ and Nick Bukestad. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the week.